Hello guys, I'm Shovik and I welcome you to this video of Wing Engineers. I am the one whose voice you can hear in the Raspberry Pi or other hardware tutorials in our channel. Sorry for not uploading any video last week because we are really working hard in this video. So please watch this video till the end and I promise you, you will not regret it. So coming back to this video that we will be using a Raspberry Pi to make a very simple home security system with the IoT platform named Kane. So in the previous video, I have introduced you to Kane and I have showed you how to set up your Raspberry Pi and etc etc. So click on this i button to go to that video, watch that video if you haven't watched it yet and then come back to this video. Then it will help you surely. So what I was talking about this video that the main concept is the Raspberry Pi is the brain of the system actually and the PIS sensor will be the monitoring device. So the whole system will monitor the situation of your house and it will notify you by sending an SMS to your mobile number whenever you detect something unwanted situation in your house. So then you can take the measure to prevent the, your house from being robbed or something else. You can call security guard, you can call police, whatever you want. Even you can turn on the lights, you can close the doors of your apartment just by clicking or touching a button on your smartphone or a laptop as far as you are connected to internet by someone. To make this video simple and easy for beginners, so we will be just doing notification part that is the sending SMS part in this video. The other parts we will do in a future video. So without making much delay, let's start this video. So you will need a Raspberry Pi. I have the Pi 3 model B version, then a PIS sensor, a 5 volt 2 ampere power supply and some jumpers for making the connection. Now let's look at the circuit. So this is how the whole circuit looks like and the main component is the PIS sensor that you can see is attached to the Raspberry Pi. The wires are power, ground and output respectively. Next there is a RJ45 cable that will connect to Pi to the network and the last thing is the power supply that is the 5 volt micro USB port you can see here. Now tell those components to connect themselves according to the circuit and it starts. Last the circuit is completed and then connect the Pi to the router and give the access of network. The later part is completely dependent on software. So let's jump right into my computer and start. Open your Kane My Device app or website and log in with your credentials. Then the page will redirect you to the dashboard. There you can see the all Raspberry Pi processes free memory space there. Here you can see the Raspberry Pi details that I have connected with my MyKane app. Now this is the place where I will place a trigger. So for this first of all we have to add a device. So click on add new device. Select digital motion sensor. Select the channel as GPIO pin. In this case it is GPIO 18. Change the icon to a bulb and save it. Now it is here and we will add a trigger for this. The trigger is nothing but it will tell the Raspberry Pi to send a SMS or to send a notification to my mobile number whenever the output pin gets high. So drag and drop the logic and set the mobile number here. I will give a phone number of my friend who is living 20 km away from me. Give a name to this trigger and save it. So the widget is connected correctly and I will check it once to trigger it by hand. If it lights up then it is ok. Yes the bulb is on. So the process is working fine and the circuit is online. 